I have stepped into a reality where they have canceled the OA. All right, let's just talk about this, guys. T A I, not T H I. Like the food, combine your minds with your hearts, connect those two circles, and let whatever come out just come on out like a volcano or like a waterfall, man. Whatever each is on, but each is own to my heart when it comes to the O A. The O A, season three. Season two was just out four months ago. And now they canceled the, the season three. What? Love it or hate it. The series always the most unusual darings. But I don't even need to read that. I don't even need this article anymore. They canceled it. Y'all saw it. They canceled it. Why? Why? They saying because of the ratings and things like that. But it was one of the most dopest T stories I ever witnessed, especially for being on Netflix. They had that was the the diamond in the rough. It didn't even seem like it was that rough either. <laughs> I watched the first second season at least two three times. Just kept picking episodes. Just say, oh yeah, let's just bang. Let's go in. Let's watch. And it's really touched my heart the correlation of the never ending story synchronicities while watching that show and experiencing it confirmed so much for me in life and before we get into this we do not condone the use of illegal or legal drugs what you decide to do with your body is what you decide to do with your body do not recreate anything that you see or hear on this channel but you know my trip that i put out there mushroom fever Mushroom forever. That's it's, the, it's a play on words. I put it out there. And it was my trip ended <clears throat> with... First, let's go back to OA. The last episode of season two ended with the guy opening up the... Finally solving the puzzle to the game. The game puzzle. Going into the house. And it opening up the rose window. And what does he see? Another reality. Another reality. And then you see OA, you see um, the doctor and everything. You um, see them switching realities as well. And you see the stage cameras. Everything that they were just doing was a stage, was just on the stage. And it was recording them and stuff like that. And then it was in this reality. Just Ty, just Ty, stick with me. When I, the end of the trip and it was recorded in the movie thing that I made. I was jumping through realities, and it was cameras, it was stage cameras recording, it kept zoom, turning, panning to the left, and then I would see cameras recording what I thought I was living my life, but at that point, I was at the sense that I created, so I wasn't getting trapped but for too long, but I know telling how long I actually was there, could have been there for thousands of years, hundreds of years, 80 years, 5 minutes, but I was there, and I spanned the left, and I saw the stage camera, just like in OA. So that's wild how that's how now the show is ending. And so that my words just won't be all around it. Let's go and tie on with Brit. Shout outs to Brit. Brit was the awesome lady who created the OA along with um, a director. I forget his name and other awesome guy. But yes, it was a lady. Most people still don't recognize that it was a lady that wrote this. But still, that's just our bodies. That's still our bodies. I want to get into the actual meat of what she wrote on her Instagram. It was like a goodbye. So it was a goodbye letter. And if it and, and in it, yeah, there it is. She said, we are humbled to be honest floored by the outgoing support of the OA. We've seen beautiful artwork in the allegory from Japan, France, Brazil, where we've read moving threads and essays, and we've watched dozens and dozens of videos of people all over the world performing the movements with what only can be called perfect feeling. One young person from a wheelchair, another young woman standing astride, two horses. Wait, wait, let me make this bigger so y'all can see. And not just see my face reading. There we go. <laughs> Interact. All right. 
One young person from a wheelchair, another young woman standing astride two horses, a mother in her backyard with her two children at her side and an infant strapped to her back. Lincoln bio. The, your words and images move us deeply, not because the show must continue, but because for some people, its unexpected cancellation begs larger questions about the role of storytelling and its fate inside late capitalism's push towards consolidation and economics of scale. The work you've made and shared has also just been very heartening inside our increasingly complex and often break time. More news, the more news I I take in of the world, the more often I feel terrifyingly certain that we are in the brick of moral and ecolog ecological collapse ecological collapse. Sometimes I feel paralyzed by the forces we are up against. Greed, fear, vanity, and I can't help but long for someone to rescue us from ourselves. Even though it's up to us to do that. A politician, an outlaw, a tech bargain, an angel. <laughs> and that term angel is real wishy-washy, but you know how it is, guys. Y'all know how it is, tires. Y'all know how it is, fam. Someone who might take our hand as if take it as if taking the hand of an erratic toddler and gently guiding us away from the lunatic pre Tis, wait, precipice that the logic of the pro of profit unguided by the compass of feeling has brought us to and what she is saying is that s the storytelling was changed was like interacting with people hearts y'all saw the videos i put out there talking about the old way and i still have some unreleased videos that i didn't release from talking about it from how I was feeling the, of the correlation between my life and what I was witnessing when watching the story take place. Shout out to Mystery Ozo for in the first place telling me to watch the OA. And he has many psychedelic journeys of experiencing out of body experience. He has a whole lot of out of body experiences. And so do I. So now I'm like this story, man, it's a lot going on. But let's bring this back up and continue reading. Go to interact. Make this a little bigger so I can see it too. <laughs> but yes, profit is ruling this world now, guys. Profit is ruling this world. It says, of course, my desire to lie and wait for a hero is nothing new, nor is the antagonizing comfort that brings. These concepts were birthed and encouraged by centuries of narrative precedents. We've been conditioned to wait. Almost every story we ever watched, read, been told, held sacred in frame in a single structure form. The hero's journey. The hero's journey is one man with one goal who goes up against increasingly obstacles to win his objective and return to his people with a wisdom needed to move all forward to quote unquote progress. This story has played out from Homer's Odyssey in 8th century BC to every reiteration of the Star Wars franchise is Salifaz, is Sally's fourth Lately, with anti-heroes like the beloved Tony Sparano, who even while doing what we all know to be wrong, is still a hero and the perfect one for late capitalism. Guys, guys, this wild that she put this out there. One of my favorite videos, check out um, Just Tie Many Souls. I'll put the link in the description. Just Tie Many Souls, A Hero's Journey. And this was before I was really getting into psychedelics. And I had this vision of, I was just going out into the woods, just like I was still do now, but I'm in the house more often when I do the videos. But I go out in the woods and I would just say whatever, I would just tie, like whatever came out, I didn't plan nothing. And what came out was the story of the hero, and it had the butterfly going by me at the perfect time. And the video was just, was just something that propelled me to keep on this journey that you see me participating in today and the hero's journey having that thing to come back at wisdom during my psych during my mushroom experience in darkness i went through my hero's journey and still is levels to it it's levels to it but just but why check out the mushroom fever movie check out the mushroom forever movie Check it out, guys, because it's so much that I want to still expand on that, but I need your help. 
your help because I can't do it on my own can't do it on my own but it's so much details about what I was experiencing that I could take a lifetime explaining it I take a lifetime of art just putting it out there and there's many more experiences to come and many more have happened after that but that seemed like I went every movie that I watched every song that I ever watched before that trip seems as though it was leading me to that trip to that moment to that experience everything that I experienced in my life led up to that moment led up to that moment and was guiding me through my thoughts through my emotions through these different worlds and dimensions of my own being and they were prepping me through the horrors through the good through the pain through the joy through the overjoy, through the infatuations, through the feeling like I was in love, through the feeling like I was hate, through everything. And the songs, how they make you feel, and the movies, and the um, my friends, my friends, and the people, my family, and the way that I talk to myself. It was just all building up to that moment of like the hero's journey that you hear, like she said, in Star Wars. Forgetting who you are or growing up poor I grew up very poor grew up very poor that was like true was saying true life stories was saying we wasn't supposed to witness this we wasn't supposed to have this kind of knowledge we from the hood who are we to be like yo it's something way more going on and I'm experiencing it not somebody telling me down the road but I went out here and forsaked everything that was trying to hold me back and said wait a second wait a second wait a second wait a second Wait a second, wait a second, <laughs> wait a minute, wait an hour, wait a couple years, however long it takes, however long it takes, and it's, it's way more than I can put on words, but I, I'm giving the dramaticism as you see. <laughs> well, let's go back, let's go back to Brit, let's go back to Brit Marlin, I love her. Uh, come on. All right, wait. Let, let, let's pull up. Whoa, whoa. Don't want to move me. No, no, no. I'm playing around. <laughs> Here we go. Gotta have fun. I have loved many of these stories and their heroes. I dressed up as she Rob, Princess of Power, and He Man's Buster, He Man's Bustier, Bustier Claude. I've got more booze. I just check out She Ra on Netflix. I'm watching that now. I'm watching She Ra on Netflix. They just came out with season three. That's one of my favorite shows now. I'm showing my daughter that they have a lot of new ideas, man. And they're not paying me to do this. I actually enjoy this show incredibly. So for her to mention that, I'm on like episode four or five right now. Check it out. The color scheme is sick too. Um, sword wielding twin sisters for more Halloweens than I care admit. I have played roles in films where I have been the hero holding the gun, and it certainly felt better than playing the female victim at the other end of the barrel. So it's no surprise that we face what seems to be increasingly insurmountable obstacles that we we scan the horizon for a hero who will come for us. According to the stories we tell, it will most likely likely be a hot man like oh come rescue me i'm a princess in the castle <laughs> check out shrek i love the story of shrek especially in the third one where she rescued herself from the castle and that timeline that shrek experienced where he wasn't the one that so-called rescued her from the dragon but she rescued her damn self and she became a warrior that still shrek was idolizing so he got to see the whole totality of fiona not just the one that he witnessed, but Fiona in different realities. Who is Fiona in actuality? Just ta, just ta, just ta. Ha, hi. All right. Um, <laughs> um, according to stories, we tell it. And he will most likely be wearing brightly colored spandex and exceedingly rich. <laughs> and it goes the same for males. It goes the same for males. Males look for like this female that they just want to dial up 
dial up and talk to however they want to because they know she always going to be there. Or even if they don't talk to any way, they just wanted her to look a certain way, present herself in a certain faction that fits their mindset that just keeps them comfortable. That's the struggle that males go through. And then that's because, hey, and it's just like on the flip side with, um, with females. It's all the same to me. I'm trying to discriminate against it for, for y'all. But it's all the same. Females do what males do. Males do what females do. Man. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. <laughs> and everybody, even when it comes to religion, people looking for Jesus to still come out the sky and part the heavens, part the clouds, and come down in a rain and chariot with all his angels and saints that have did what he wanted them to do and going to come and slay the devil. People are still readily waiting for that, that it is an actuality in this universe that i am seeing we tie about that we die about that and even people that don't is somebody like she said a man in a relationship a job waiting for that glorious job to just come and sweep you up instead of creating that job through your own creativity creativity <laughs> Ugh, I didn't know this was going to turn into something like this, but hey, let's keep going. Um, But the more I think on this, the more it seems batshit crazy. No one is coming to rescue. We have to save each other every day in small and great ways. I had the great. <laughs> so perhaps at this late hour inside the dire circumstances of climate change and ever winding gap between the hot haves and haves and haves nots, we have hundred we are hundreds of years overdue. New mythologies that reflect this stories with modes of power outside violence and domination stories with goals for human agency outside conquest and colonization stories that illustrate the power of collective protagonism and do away with protagonism entirely to illustrate how real last lasting changes often are occurs ordinary people often outsiders often marginalized uh, anonymously organizing working together achieving small feats one day at a time that eventually form movements steve bba buck jesse french homer hat and owe are no longer authorizing authoring the story neither are zao or i zao is the guy i was mentioning before that was like the director of the show you are you all are you are standing on street corners in the hot sun in the hot sun in protest you are meeting new people in strange recesses online and sharing stories about loss and renewal that you never thought you would tell anyone just tie just tie just talk about your minds with your heart connect those two circles and let whatever come out just come on out you are learning choreography and moving in ways you haven't dared moved before i started man yoga Yoga, I keep saying I got to make those videos. I'm a, I got to make those videos because you don't see that many people with brown skin bending in postures and stuff like that. So we're going to make that happen. <laughs> we're going to make that happen. But I have been practicing yoga as, and it, it has been changing my life. Like y'all see, I'm able to stand up, sit up straight. I used to be like this <laughs> and feeling the dancing. The... <sighs> oh, it's all there. It's all there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, man. I really do appreciate it. Um all of it is uncomfortable. All of it is I thought that said algorithm is agitation. I was like, "Oh yeah, this is scripted." Um all of it is worth something. Shout outs to True Life Stories. Shout outs to True Life Stories, guys. Check it out, man. We building. Many of you have expressed your gratitude for this story and for Zal and I and everyone who worked the OA. But it is 
all of us who are grateful to you. You've broken the mold of storytelling. You're building something far more beautiful than we did because it's in real time, in real life, with real people. Is resma is it's Ritz Ritzomatic. It's so ritzomatic, constantly redefining the collective aim as it grows. It's elliptical. It has no beginning and no real end. It's, I'm thinking of the snake biting its own tail. Just imagine a snake biting its own tail. It just keeps going. Or the infinity sign. And it certainly has no single hero. The show doesn't need to continue for this feeling to. The other day, Zal and I pulled over to offer a bottle of water and food to a young woman who had been protesting the cancellation of the show on the street corner in Hollywood. As we were leaving, she said, you know what I'm really protesting is late capitalism. And sh then she said something that I haven't been able to forget since. Algorithms aren't as smart as we are. They cannot account for love. I've, I have algorithm in my head. That's why. Her words, not mine, and the story keeps going inside them. Whoo! Algorithms aren't as smart as we are. They cannot account for love. And I love that she put, can we get a release? Can we get a book release? <laughs> Shout out to the cat. And there's one more dope correlation. But I don't believe... Yeah, they're not allowing me to scroll up. But if y'all check for yourselves, the top comment that Brit put up there was a octopus. Yeah, they're not. Oh, let's try this. Let's try this. Yeah, I, there it is. I can zoom up like this. I want y'all to know that this, like she said, this is real life in real time. Y'all see that octopus right there? And the octopus, they was even showing it before I even go into my own imagination. The octopus in the show was a voice that was communicating through her. And these rich people was used in the other reality was using her body in order to get this communication from the other realm because they didn't want to do it themselves. <laughs> but she was doing it and during shroom trips, I haven't experienced the octopus. The closest I got to it was when I was on a dose and I was draw painting and I drew an octopus, a squid like creature for some reason. But my boy Booker constantly is experiencing seeing octopus and squids during his mushroom trips. When especially when he like acts is this the mushroom or something and along those terms. Along those terms. And well along those feelings. Along those feelings. And I'm seeing how she put this out here, like probably saying that this is the the this is the other talking. This is the beyond talking. This is the Santi talking. Hey, remember I was Thai before the trip. Now Santi. Santi seems as though it's a deeper level of the Thai. The Thai guy. I'm still the Thai guy too. But Santi. Santi. <laughs> Just Thai. Just Thai. Away. Away. She was different people in different realms. They called her by different names, but she was Owe. And even beyond Owe, the octopus recognized her as Owe. You are the Owe. She, he recognized that. So that's who was talking. And I recognized this, all of this, during my um, friend Booker. True life over true life story. He had a psychedelic mushroom experience last night, and I was on the Discord with him talking it out. And he was, and I, somebody mentioned this, and I typed it up, and we was talking this out. So this is real time, real life, real people. Believe it or not. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it right here, guys. But, man, thank you, Britt. Thank you, Zoe, for creating the OA and bringing this experience to us for and allowing us to experience this or I created this experience for me to experience you created this experience for me to experience 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 in it and somewhere else experiences outside like oh, oh, oh this is one big joke they all just experiencing all of this and I created all of this 
<laughs> but it's all fun and games because it's all fun. It's all fun. It's all an experience. Wrapping around and not being. A, don't be afraid, guys. Don't be afraid. Tires to just know to live in the fullness of yourself. We did a lot of things of hurting people. We did a lot of things of breaking up people. But it's all just the continuation of the story that is you. That is just one connect the dot of you. And that one connect the dot, when you connect all the dots, you see the big picture. And you see how you, the big you, but all those dots are all you as well. Are all full-blown experiences of you so connect the dots guys connect the dots in your lives and connect those multi-dimensional dots not just in the your relations with life but your relations with the deeper deepest aspects of yourself try it out and leave in the comments below <laughs> or check out the discord or stay tuned for the live shows and so we can tie on this together. Join start the conversation. Uh, combining the minds with the hearts. Connecting those two circles. Let whatever come out. Not just the mind and not just the heart. But both. And that's the old way, guys. That's the old way. Make sure, check out that last mushroom video I put out too. Mushroom paint and uh, it's it's a cool vid. Check it out. Check out the Just Todd Now store. Come and explore. Ghost Tour is helping out the channel so we can connect with more people, have better equipment, more better technology, so that I can hey connect with more folks, guys. Cause you know it's different strokes for different folks. And now everybody gonna listen to somebody and <laughs> well, you know how it goes, guys. That's why I need y'all voice to be heard and y'all creativity. If y'all have any ideas that you want to be shown on the show or you want me to participate with you or you want to participate with me, like animation, um some kind of way to tell a story. Any way to tell a story, said hey, connect, connect, man, connect. Connect. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's time. It's now. The time is now. Or next week. Or next after. But hey, it's all happening now. So once again, guys, I'm gonna end it with with um just love, appreciation, and the whole go around the circles. <laughs> and we all tie. But do we really tie? Sometimes I don't know, do. Sometimes I really don't know. Until next time, this is Santi saying, tie always. Shout out to the old way, man. We are here. Help find the others. <laughs>